Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a hair tutorial slash let's try some new hair products video together. <laughs> so I have a couple of new products that I haven't even smelled. So we're gonna try these out together. I'm gonna to give you my first impression. We're gonna take a look and see how they perform. The first one is the BB Hairdresser Invisible Oil. It says it is a heat UV protective primer. So really excited to try that. I got this as a birthday gift from Ulta. And then in a separate Ulta order, this was a free gift with purchase. And this is the Guys Hang My Stardust Spray. It has this very cool holographic cover here on the bottle. So I've heard amazing things about Guy Tang hair coloring products, but never have tried anything from him. And I'm really interested and intrigued by Stardust Spray. I mean, who doesn't want their hair to look like Stardust, right? Now, before we jump into it, if you're new here, be sure you hit that subscribe button and now let's get started. All right, we are gonna start off first with a little bit of Catwalk Root Boost. I'm just going to place a little bit of this at the crown of the hair, the usual places where I need just a little extra lift. And then I always like to put a little bit here along the part and in the front here. All right, now, Let's take a look at this BB Hairdresser Invisible Oil. So it looks like a cream, so it's kind of intriguing that it's called an oil. It says spray on damp or dry hair, comb through and style. Okay, we can handle that. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start here. Um, let's see, what is the smell? Hmm. It's a very light fragrance, so nothing overpowering, and it actually smells kind of nice, so that's a refreshing change, right? <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of work a little bit of this through. As I'm spraying it on, I can feel a little bit of it on the hair, but it does not feel heavy like an oil, but I can feel it kind of softening the hair overall. So I didn't do a real heavy conditioner today in the shower on purpose. I just kind of wanted to see what this does. So I've worked it through and yeah, now I can feel it on the hair. It feels a little bit kind of like a leave-in conditioner would feel on the hair. So got that worked in. I do feel like I've got a little bit of shine. We'll see now as we go in with the hair dryer how it translates. All right, let's go ahead and dry the hair. And by the way, many of you ask, I have the T3 Cura hair dryer. So I use um, kind of medium heat, but high fan speed. My hair looks really nice and bright and shiny. I feel it a little bit more on my hair than the last shine serum that I used, the Stylus Sheer Remedy, but I don't feel like it feels oily, so that's good. It does feel nice and soft, and like I said, I do love how much shine I got from that already, right? We haven't even gone in with our Stardust serum. So I'm going to go in now with my 
chi flat iron and going to just do a few little tweaks here and there. I am now officially, as I'm filming this, a week away from my color appointment. So um, I'm really excited to get some more brightness right here in the front. But this front bang section has gotten a little long. So I think we're going to just maybe do a little bit of a, a flip or something fun here. I'm taking this through the front section. I'm trying to decide what ultimately I'm going to end up doing with this section, but I think I'm going to keep going. I'm going to just kind of turn it out. So kind of make it look like we've got a little bit of a, a wave right here. And I'll do a little bit there. I've already got kind of a natural little bit of a flip there. So just kind of go with that. All right, and I'm gonna pull this through this top section just to give a little bit of lift. So I just pull it up with the flat iron and hold it there. And I feel like it gives a little bit of a bend, a little extra volume there. And the back I think looks pretty good, pretty smooth and flat today. So we're gonna go also with that. All right. I'm going to go in now with my Enjoy Dry Wax and I have started a fresh jar, but again, it's nice and warm here. So I'm not having to do too much work to get it out of the jar, but all right, going to work that through my hands. And now I'm just going to work at adding some volume, texture, and shape this front edge a little bit. So I'm going to work this through kind of the whole hair and then we'll go back and fine tune our look because this isn't it. <laughs> Here on the sides, I'm going to use that wax just to twist the, the side pieces just to make them look like they have a little bit of curl there or kind of a ringlet there on the side. And then I'm just going to work that product through the rest of the hair. And as I get to the back, I mentioned this before, I just kind of like to scrub my fingers into the crown of the hair and then just kind of work the ends kind of down and shape them. So you can add the volume by scrubbing the scalp and then just kind of shape the top pieces of hair a little bit. Add just a touch more of that wax here the front. And I'm kind of liking this just straight kind of very flat section right here. It makes the sides look even longer. Let's go ahead and add some hairspray. This is the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray. So we are done with the styling. Now let's add a little stardust, shall we? All this says is shake well for intense shine, hold eight to 10 inches from dry hair and spray lightly over finished style. So, okay, here we go. I hope this doesn't smell bad. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna walk around the rest of the day smelling like Stardust spray. All right, let's just check it out. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're going to get a good look at how my hair looks now. Okay, I'm trying to. S the scent is nice, it's nice and light. There's a little bit of some citrus, a little bit of yeah, it's just kind of a neutral, kind of a nice neutral scent, kind of clean hair, a little citrusy, so it's not bad at all. I don't mind it. All right, so let's take a look. Do we see any difference? 
Hmm. Okay, I may have to insert a before and after, before I sprayed it and after to see, but I do have a good amount of shine, but I do feel like I had some of that shine. And now I'm touching my hair, just trying to see if it changed the texture. Um, it didn't make it feel greasy. I don't feel like it weighed it down, so that's a good thing. Let's just spray a bunch right there. Okay, so here's our finished look. And you have to let me know in the comments section below, did you see more shine once I added the Stardust spray? I do feel like I have a good amount of shine right now. I'm just not sure if I saw a remarked difference once I sprayed it, but I'm interested to know your thoughts as watching this video, what you saw. I will continue to use these products and let you know kind of my thoughts over time. And I will also be paying attention to see how my style stays through the day. Since I used my normal Root Boost, my Enjoy Dry Wax, my Instant Freeze Hairspray, if my style falls flat through the day, then I will know it was one of these two products. But so far, I don't feel like my hair feels oily or greasy or anything, so that's a good thing. But I hope that you enjoyed coming along, testing these new products. As always, all of the products and the tools will be listed and linked in the description box below this video. I will also leave a link to my Facebook page where I do have still photos of my hairstyle in various lengths and various styles. So if you're looking for pictures to take to the salon with you, head over to my Facebook page. I am also now officially on Instagram. I don't post a ton over there, but go ahead and follow me over there to be updated on a few other things and a little bit of my personal life outside of YouTube. Thank you as always so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.